I hope you're ready for this little buddy. Well guys, it is now Thursday, May 30th, 2019. About 10.50 in the morning. And we are once again back at the West Central Veterinary Service out here in Rockville, Indiana. Indiana. Going in to um, give, give Nestor his uh, update on his shots and a checkup. Once there lived a creative soul just outside of Atlanta. He had a good job but never fit in. He had a big apartment but it cost him a limb. So one day he packed it all up and threw it into storage, hit the open road and became a traveling caricaturist. Now he lives in a camper and travels all the time. He works at fairs and festivals. For the price of a single click, you can join the ride. Also, don't forget to ring that bell icon. Wow, last time he was in that little kennel was when he was going in for his little snip snip operation. And he was so much smaller down in the bottom of that kennel. This little frog is curious about Nestor. <laughs> you guys might remember that when uh, I had his little snip, snip surgery done, uh, I had him take a look at his ears as well, and they said that there was a little bit of brown infection in there and they gave me some some antibiotics um used those for a while but he's still shaking his head uh, so i wanted to wait till i was out here because i like this clinic a lot more uh, they seem to be a little more thorough um, so uh, when i told them that he was still having trouble with his ears they actually got some cotton swabs and they swabbed out both ears and they took it into the other room to go have it tested which is not something they did at, uh, at the other clinic that I'm aware of. So, um, yeah, <laughs> there's, just like there's a difference in good doctors and bad doctors, apparently there's a big difference in good vets and not so good vets. Um, and, uh, you know, it's too bad I have to wait till I come out to Indiana to go to this one because I know this one, this one's good. So, still gotta get his shots up to date and hopefully, all that head shaking that he's doing will will go away whenever they uh, they get us some new medication. They took him into the other room to thoroughly clean out his ears. Well, they just brought him back in. He's got his ears back at a weird angle. So apparently they did a nice thorough job of that clean out. You gonna be okay now, buddy? I like that when he's scared, he actually comes to me instead of running from me. Oh, yeah, I feel a little dampness there. They, they really cleaned him out good. Back in the truck now, what was the conclusion? Well, first off, he weighs about, what did they say, 12 pounds? And so that puts him at about 2 to 3 pounds overweight. So uh, I'm going to have to start regulating his food intake a little bit, and that's going to... That's gonna make him mad for a little while, but he he'll adjust to it. He's he's gonna have to. I can't I can't have you unhealthily chubby there, fella. That's not good. Um, also, the deal with the ears. They they said they found a, a little bit of bacteria and a bit of a yeast infection in his ears, which now I feel terrible that he had to go like that for so long with that in there. Um, but, like I said, the, the, the veterinarians out in, in Tennessee just weren't doing a very thorough job. Um, just to give you guys a little more of an idea, um, they put a one-time treatment in there. They cleaned his ears out thoroughly, and then they put like this waxy one-time treatment down in his ears that, um, that's it. I don't have to go in and put ear drops every couple of days in there. Uh, and so it's, it, it was a one-time treatment. And they said in a couple of days after his ears dry out and that waxy substance, substance starts to dissolve, that whole, you know, ears, head shaking thing should go away permanently. Also, they got me started on something called Revolution Plus for feline, felines right down there. Uh, and that's basically like frontline, but uh, it's kind of an all-in-one. It, it takes care of um, fleas, ticks, ear mites, roundworms, and, and hookworms. So it's not just the external 
Parasites is internal as well, and only about three dollars more expensive than than Frontline. So I got a month of that. Gonna have to get some more of it later. Uh, and then um, I had them update him on his shots, which means rabies vaccinations and FVRCP. I have no idea what that is. So with the exam, the uh, ear clean out and treatment, the update on the vaccinations, and the Revolution Plus feline, all of those things together came up to $113.28. Uh, so, not bad. And I feel pretty good about all the stuff we got done today. I think you're going to start feeling a, a lot better too, Nestor. That is after you get done being mad at me for um, not keeping your food bowl quite so full. <laughs> uh, Alright guys, uh, that's going to be it for uh, Nestor's little update. I am now standing outside of Bridgeton Mill in Bridgeton, Indiana. This is the site of one of the locations of the giant Cover Bridge Festival in the middle of October. And uh, this this year, I think, will be like my fifth year doing it. Um, before I left last year, I uh, left at not just the deposit, but the entire payment. So since I'm here just a few minutes away from Bridgeton Mill, I wanted to come by here and make sure everything is in order and I won't have any problems at all setting up my uh, my booth in the middle of October, about three and a half months from now. Right there. It's going to be next to the dog cabin. It's one of my favorite festivals of the year. As we go in, we've got a couple of millstones here, original millstones from way, way back. It's Mike! Hey, Mike. And there it is, the old-fashioned mill. Put the grain in the top, let it grind. I just then, sold one of your t-shirts. Oh, you did? Awesome. All the different types of flowers here. Oh, homestyle pancake mix. Hmm. I might actually buy this before I leave. Half a cup of milk, two tablespoons of butter, and one egg is really all you need to make pancakes. Whole wheat or whole grain pancakes with this mix. Home style pancake mix. Okay, it's made with cornmeal, salt, and baking powder. So this is corn pancakes. Huh. Looking out the window here, this is the uh, the, the dam with the covered bridge over it there. And um, got a couple people out here just uh, fishing away. Which, uh, you actually, I should have been out here doing this over the past few days. What was I thinking? Anyway, all right, taking a look through the rest of the mill here. Talking old, stressed, scarred wood that feels like it's a hundred years old and probably is. And back here is where they make all the whole grain bread that they then make into big grilled cheese sandwiches that they sell at the mill. Oh, there's my t-shirt. That's the design I came up with and now they sell it. It took uh, like $200 off of uh, my payment that year, which I think was a fair payment for the design. And uh, so he gets to sell that as much as he wants. Hopefully he's made back his $200 by now. Uh, they don't have all the novelty flavors they had last year, like the uh, zombie brain and whatnot, but there's a few of them still here. There's the werewolf ginger beer. I'll probably get that. And um, wicked apple as well as the dang. That's the one I tried last time. There, well, there's diet dang. I don't see the regular dang. Huh. Oh, pumpkin. Pumpkin spice tonic. Pumpkin spice tonic. Wanted to get back into the truck for a minute to make sure the air conditioner is running, keep this little guy comfortable. Uh, but I stopped by the ice cream counter and got a little snack. This is something they're calling Peterson Asphalt. And, uh, oh, well, I think Nestor wants to try it. No, Nestor. No, 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 you get down. You get down. Whoa, easy fella. Okay. Uh, it's It's got like a chocolate syrup and um, Oreo thing going on here. Uh, I think that's why they're calling it asphalt. Wow. And um, I'm going to be drinking Werewolf Ginger Beer. Howling, excuse me. 
werewolf howling ginger beer along with it. So <laughs> today's snack is sweet with sweet. Oh, good. It's a twist off. All right. Let's see just how howling it is. Oh, goodness. Yes. That has definitely got that ginger beer bite to it. It's really, really good. It's all sacked out. That vet visit kind of took it out of him, didn't it? Still got a little bit of that angry twitch in his tail right now. Before I go, I, I can't leave Nestor alone in the truck too long because the sun is coming down. But I thought I would give you guys at least a little bit of a walk around. Uh, as a preview of what's to come in the middle of October. Now, a lot of these buildings are just there for that one 10-day festival. That's how big it is. A lot of these permanent structures. Now some of them going down this main street are open throughout the year. But if you were to come up here uh, to the Bridge to Mill at any point during the year, uh, between 10 and 5, the artist market is open. And I'm going to, uh, to walk through that to give you guys an idea of what you can expect. Okay, so first off, there's the knitting lady. She, oh, there's a difference, right? <laughs> knitting is the one with the needles. Crochet's got the hook, right? So she's uh, crochets and then sells like the hats and um, rugs. Oh, all the ones up there on the wall. Those are all hand done. Wow. Very nice. And uh, sometimes you can also catch the wood carver here. And I, everything you see on this wall is hand carved. And you see it looks like it was done by a CNC machine. It's so intricate. But it's all done entirely by hand. And... Uh, I've actually seen him at work a few times, and it's it's a it's a very impressive thing to see. It looks impossible, but he does it. And uh, then we've got our pottery guy over here, and uh, he does actually do the pottery different points during the day. You can actually come by here and see him doing it, doing the pottery right there. And um, this is the way his work comes out: very clean. Very clean, well done pottery. Again, they look computer done, they're so precise. But it's not, it's all, it's all by hand. All right, that's enough of that. I got what I came out here for. Uh, did find out that, in fact, everything is good uh, with the payments. My spot is definitely reserved for me. Should be no problems at all. Coming in here and setting up for the Cover Bridge Festival. That is, uh, I also need to get a Transient Merchants License or a TML from the Rockville Courthouse. So I'm going to head over there now. That's something you got to do every year, and it's only about 20 bucks. Well, for me, it's only 20 bucks because um, my stuff is handcrafted. It's a lot more for people that are resellers and uh, food vendors, but handcrafted stuff, only 20 bucks. Let's get over there and do it. Well, this courthouse looks impressive. Uh, just look at some of those dusty old record books. I wonder if they're still in use or if they're just kind of there for looks. And just like that, I got it. Uh, this time we're this year we're going with a, a lime green. Remember last year it was pink. I think I even said something about it being a breast cancer awareness thing. Lime green. Back at the camper now, over here at uh, beautiful Fairbanks Park. Just got here, and Nestor seems to be relaxed enough. I think I'm going to go ahead and apply this Revolution Plus. Oop, oh, he's waking up now. Yeah, okay, there we go. It's all on this. Rub it in a little bit. Okay. All right, Nestor. I think you are, I think you're done. I think you're good to go. We're going to call this one done, guys. If you've enjoyed this vlog, please uh, don't hesitate to indicate so by hitting that thumbs up like button. 
Uh, leave something down in the comments, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to ring that bell icon so you'll start receiving notifications of all my future updates. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.